you first find a location in your yard that's open and has plenty of wind going through it. And then you're gonna take a piece of square tubing approximately two feet long that a four by four piece of lumber can fit into. You then finish it off by leaving about six inches left sticking out of the ground. I took the studs out of the axle shaft that way I can maneuver it around to make sure it's balanced properly. I'm lining it up by eye pretty close and I'll just mark around it and also in the holes with a marker. This way I can drill it by hand. I'm not gonna do any welding with a punch, just to make sure I get my holes straight, I'm gonna just mark where I want my holes to be drilled. So I had to heat up this steel saw blade with a propane torch so it got bright red on my holes because this is hardened steel. But now that I've heated it up and let it slowly cool down, I'm able to drill into it. And I'm adding oil so it doesn't burn up the drill bit. I flipped it over and I'm going to hit it from the other side. This is extremely hard to drill through. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna notch out my square tubing so it fits uh, underneath the lip of my axle shaft. I'm gonna use this cutoff tool to do that. The lip, a big lip on the shaft up against my hub. And this way it'll firmly lock inside so it'll put more strain on the center of the axis. Finish notching out these pieces of square tubing. I had to put an extra notch in this one because the bolt going to the axle shaft is in the way. And now with the notch in place, it fits right in. On these three pieces, there's three points of contact that are gonna hold it stable. There's the butt end up, up against the axle shaft there's a hole there that's going to be bolted to solidly to the saw blade. And then there's going to be a third point of contact here on the very edge. So it should be pretty stable. Set my wood post into my uh, hole that I set into the ground. I got the bearings here. And then here's my hub uh, shaft assembly. I'm, a, I'm using, of course, a tapered shaft out of a Ford van. So I had to get two different size pillow block bearings that are rated at 200 plus pounds of axial force. So pushing down on it's not going to hurt him up to about 200 pounds. Uh, the bearing guy said that since these have ball bearings in them, in instead of flat roller bearings, they can withstand axial force. But anything more than like three, 400 pounds will wear out the bearings real quick. I'm using these U-bolt type things that fit securely on a four x four. And they do have to bend out a little bit in, to, in order to accommodate the wider holes on the bearings, but just for testing things out and making sure everything lines up good, they're perfect. I'm gonna guide this into place being careful. Now that both of them are resting, I'll just go ahead and tighten her down. It's good to go. There's some set screws on the Allen heads that I can tighten down to. I'm gonna try and put this thing together. It would be best to have two people here. And uh, an important thing is I've marked my hub with the number one and then my axle with the number one and I'm gonna start out with the number one piece of square tubing because it has a notch in the end and that's gonna hold it together. Uh, it's gonna be a good first one to start with. And I got my step ladder to hold it in place. And it's up against the hub. We're gonna get it as close as we can. And there's light coming through the hole there. And then here's the second hole. We've got plenty of area for that bolt to go through and a washer to, to suck it down on the edge. And this should be exactly 
uh, straight. We want, of course, every our, our three wings to be 120 degrees apart. So I'll start assembling it. But I have two arms. I have one supported so it doesn't spin, but already the weight is being supported fairly well all by itself. So the last and final one I'm able to put on with just uh, two step ladders by myself. The trick is to have the end piece wedge in that hub, that way it's uh, held up while it's on, on the step ladder too. With all the bolts tightened up on the hub and the arms and the shaft and the bearings, I'm gonna go ahead and start removing step ladders. And the structure seems to be pretty stable. It's supporting its own weight. The arms are, are pretty flat and equal with one another. And when I straighten out my post with some guide wires, hopefully it'll be very sturdy and I'll put some wings on it. As you can see, this old axle shaft came out of a Ford and the bearing went bad in it. And otherwise this would have just been thrown away, but I'm able to use, use it for something. Most of the parts in this have been recycled, including the saw blade, the hub, and these arms I bought at a recycling center at $10 each for these pieces of square tubing. The bearing is the only thing I bought now. Starting to blow out here, and rather than putting a heavy sail on it since it's new and untested, 